Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about steps that need to be taken to move us towards a fair data ecosystem that is as open as possible, as closed as necessary. By fair, we mean that research should be findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable, including by people who have not been involved in the original research. So that, can, that is known as the fair principles. They have been the, the result of a community process and they have been formally published. Um, the basic idea is uh, to make it possible for machines to participate in the research process more easily than they, they can do now, so that the humans can actually concentrate on those parts that the machines can't do. The FAIR principles can act as a bridge between different ways of doing research. Uh, the traditional um, academic research would benefit from it, industrial research will benefit from it, open uh, science and citizen science would also benefit from being more FAIR. Um, however, the FAIR principles do not specify details of implementation, which is why the European Commission set up an expert group to provide recommendations on how to get to a FAIR data ecosystem. And uh, that group has uh, released a draft report and a draft action plan, um, which uh, yeah, were made public earlier this month. The report focuses on four key steps to be taken. Um, first, we need to define FAIR um, in more detail than the original um, paper. Um, that also should include things that are important for implementation and not mention the original principles. For instance, the timeliness of sharing or ethical aspects of sharing. Second, we need to develop a, uh, an ecosystem uh, around FAIR, uh, just FAIR data. Um, that uh, is sustainable because many ways uh, in which we are dealing with uh, fair data are not sustainable these days. Then uh, we have to zoom out a little bit that uh, and, be and be aware that data are not sitting in, in isolation. So data are being connected via services and uh, these need to be interoperable and fair as well and in order to actually enable uh, the FAIR data to be used. Finally, uh, all of this is only possible if we engage uh, with the diverse communities uh, to actually change how research is being done in practice um, because several aspects of FAIR are often neglected these days. So the report uh, comes in six chapters that deal with individual topics and that are all kind of a conscious of those four key steps that need to be taken. So we look at data policies, we look at uh, the culture aspects, we look at infrastructure, we look at um, the skills that are needed to uh, navigate this new uh, or developing ecosystem. We look at ways to assess um, how this affects research and how much it would cost to uh, go fair or uh, not. Um, in the process we uh, take into account perspectives from multiple stakeholders and uh, we look at uh, which of these would be best placed to um, move us forward on individual uh, tasks. In doing so, we uh, looked at um, the ecosystem from the perspective of fair data objects that contain some piece of data and that are linked to the ecosystem by ways of identifiers and standards and metadata where the identifiers and standards and metadata as well as other things like policies or data management plans are all known to the system by way of a cloud of registries. Um, in the end, uh, the system looks uh, somewhat like this, where the individual things um, interact in multiple ways, many of which uh, can be automated and thus actually um, reduce the burden on the researchers and make research more efficient. Um, and yeah, in the report, we also looked at case studies, um, for instance, some communities have already converged on principles quite similar to FAIR, which is the case in linguistics and astronomy. Um, other communities have looked into uh, the timeliness of uh, sharing, which is, for instance, the case in public health emergencies. And then there are platforms that already uh, fulfilled basically all the FAIR criteria, um, and some of them 
come out come from outside of the research um, enterprise. So for instance, Wikidata is a fair data platform that can be used for open science and for citizen science. And um, the relationship between fair and open is often unclear. Uh, the terms are often used interchangeably, but we make it clear that this is not very helpful. So there are lots of open data that are not fair, there are lots of fair data that are not open. Both of the terms come in scales or both of the dimensions. And so it is best to uh, regard uh, the two, uh, or to link the two by following the principle of sharing research as openly as possible and as closed as actually necessary. The data action plan then tries to condense all this into uh, a set of individual recommendations that are drawn from the report. We try to actually make them tweetable so that uh, they're short enough that people might actually read them. Um, and here is an overview. Uh, each of these comes with uh, a paragraph or so of explanations. And um, the next steps, so th uh, the draft report and action plan have been released. They're available under these URLs. There is a, an open uh, commenting consultation period that runs until August 5. You can edit uh, the report um, directly in a Google Doc and you can comment on the action plan via um, issues on GitHub. We will take into account the uh, feedback received this way um, when we revise both documents which uh, are due to be released in November 2018. And Perspectives from outside the EU are uh, very welcome um, because uh, fair data is something that doesn't stop at national or boundaries. Thank you. I'm looking forward to the discussion.